Pandas is mainly used for machine learning in the form of data frames. Once we use Panda functions to extract data from our test file or binary file, the data will be formed as data frame. And Pandas further allow us to perform various data manipulation operations. While we are working with data, encountering time series data is very common. Data scientists love Pandas for many reasons. One of the reasons is because it contains extensive functions and features for working with time series data. We can convert date and time text strings in Pandas date time objects easily by using the to date time function. So let's see how we can do that. Um, so first of all, we just import them um, Pandas as PD and then we with the CSV files, um, which contains the NASDAQ um, data um, for the past year. And so in this file, we have a header, but however, we do not have the index columns. So let's see what we have inside this um, data set. I just print out the first five uh, rows for use to have a few to understand what kind of data that we have. Um, so we have the dates, uh, we have the open, we have the high, low, and so and so. However, when we extract the data from the data files to this data frame, this date is actually uh, a string of objects um, in the data frames. So let me show you. Um, what is the data type that we have, uh, which will show you the results of an object that's actually a string. So you can see um, the date is just a string, and the other types is a floating number. In order for us to convert these um, date um, string objects um, into a date time type, we can actually use the to date time function. So first of all, we just uh, we will assign the results to this um, date column, and then we just um, use um, just call out the date time functions, and then what we are going to put is just put this column inside this two date time function, and then assign it back to the date column. So here you can see that the objects um will be changed to a daytime or daytime type. So this is the result. And once we convert this um, date to a daytime type, we can use uh, some daytime functions. So for example, um, let's just assign a new column called year. And then we just um, call out this column. Um, not this column should be the date column because, and then because right now it's a daytime object, we can use the dt daytime type, and then just um, dot years to get the years uh, from these from these daytime type objects. And then we can also get the month. Uh, similarly, and get the date by changing it to one and day. So let's print out the first five row to see what we have. Just ignore this, this time. And here you can see that we just extract the year from this date uh, by using the .dt .year functions. And then similarly, you can just extract the month from this date, uh, from this date time types, and then we can also extract the days. By having these uh, three new columns, uh, we can further manipulate our data. So for example, we can do some filtering functions here. Uh, let's say, for example, let's say uh, we would like to filter the uh, 
just would like to take out all the value a month between um say for example three and three and six so that means we are going to get the um four and five month I mean April and May data We know the so and we can also use um group by functions to say for example calculate the mean um of the opening price. Um just you know, this snap step and then uh, group by function. And then uh, we just um, get the month column, the month column, and we calculate the mean of the opening price for each of the month. It's pretty I pull right here. So right now you, you can see that we get the mean value of the opening price for each of the month by using the group by functions. So now you can understand that the two dates time functions is a very useful functions to convert the date and time string to data to date time types objects in order for us to further manipulate the data. And so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.